Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here with day 14 for the December daily and I'm showing you some of the products that I, you know, pulled together. I just pulled a whole bunch of stickers that had, had at least one pink stick sticker on it and then I pulled a bunch of 8x8 pattern papers from my October afternoon paper pad and just a bunch of um, 4x6 that I ha had already cut apart and one card that was a two, a couple of cards that was three by four again from some of the stuff that I pulled in uh, at the very beginning you can see all the stuff that I had pulled in there and basically it was all things that I had purchased last year there was a little bit that I purchased this year but most of that stuff I bought last year and didn't get to use it so I'm making sure this year that I am using the stuff that I had bought last year the only December daily kit that I bought this year was a freckled fawn and it was fairly cheap and um, I'm using the numbers on almost every day and you'll see it um, for this day it's going to be number 14 and I think for the rest of the month I'm basically probably going to use most of um, those I might use some of the ones that I got from Studio Calico it's just that now that there's two numbers that's going to make it a huge number on the layout so we'll see we'll see if it kind of works out with what you know the scheme that I'm trying to put together so I cut down all the pattern papers to you know the four by six or the three by four and this page protector um, layout is four four by four by six vertically and then four three by fours horizontally and then I thought you know it'd be fun to actually treat each little area like it was a scrapbook page um, especially the four by six so you're gonna see me cutting pieces of pattern paper and just make little borders on the side and then I'm gonna take some of the other cards and sort of make a little photo mat or a little journaling card in order to kind of put either a mat a photo or some journaling on the layout so I think it turned out really cute I really like it and um, I never thought I was a pink, pink person um, and I don't think as far as maybe clothes I don't really like to wear pink and I think it has to do a lot with my coloring too I don't think I can pull off pink um, I do like a lot of like bright colors and that kind of stuff but for scrapbooking I really love pink and I this um, I really like non-traditional colors I guess for Christmas um, you know the teals and the pinks I, I like the traditional red and white or red and green but I have to say I'm really enjoying doing the non-traditional colors also so the page before this was an aqua page and then this page here is is pink and like I said I've already chosen sort of the background for the next three layouts um, just so that when I have a few minutes I can just you know go in my scrap room and kind of put a page together um, today is November 26th there is a blazing snowstorm um, outside they were calling for up to 25 centimeters we're actually getting 40 centimeters and I guess if you're in inches that would be six almost 16 inches of snow so it's a ton of snow all I can say is I'm glad I'm not working tomorrow morning and only tomorrow night because going out at 5 30 in the morning would not be fun in that snowstorm but at least by tomorrow night it sh should be calmed down but um so it's uh <laughs> too bad too bad it's not december 1st you know i would have something to document right <laughs> our very first major snowstorm if it was on december 1st at least you know i'd have pictures to put in my album and my goal is by this weekend I'm hoping to get uh, I got day 14 done I haven't done any other I've done three day shifts and I'm just like whew, exhausted but I'm hoping on my five days off that I get another at least five days done and if I'm at day 20 or 19 or 20 when I start December 
I'm going to be super happy because then that means that all I need to do is basically add the pictures, maybe a little bit of stamping, and maybe a, you know, a couple of things as far as embellishments, but it should be just, you know, putting pictures in it. And an, an, another thing I'm hoping to share before December 1st, I'm going to share, uh, you know, the first few pages of my December Erin Condren um, planner and showing you how, you know, I plan uh, where, how I got the, which pictures I need to take for which day. And also I'm going to share a list with you of, you know, a, a compilation of everybody's ideas for different pictures that you can take. And that will be posted on my Facebook group. And if you don't know my, about my Facebook group, it's just, it's a scrapbooking Facebook group. And there's almost 1500 ladies now. And we just share ideas and scrapbook layouts and I issue challenges and it's just a whole bunch of fun. And I'm, I started the list there and I'll finish compiling the list and make sure that it's all done before December 1st. So if you want to join us, the link is in the description and it's a whole bunch of fun. So like I said, I treated each little card, 4 by 6 card, um, like it was a little mini scrapbook page. So the one at the top, I put sort of a, you know, something to the left off the side. And then I added one of them is called like washi tape. And then I built a little cluster with the, the day on it. And then, you know, other ones I made little photo mats and little borders on the side. And I used a half a frame that I had used the top of it on another layout. And I had that left and I used it on this page. So that's what I'm using. I'm, I'm liking is that even if I cut, um, you know, a tag in half or a speech bubble, like that speech bubble, that's the very top. I actually use the rest of it on another layout. I don't throw it out. I just put it in my container and, and then I'm using it on another layout. So every little bit of everything is getting used. And, um, not that it, you know, that there's not enough stuff in that bucket, but you know, I'm getting my money's worth out of everything. And it's, it's, um, just a lot of fun. And it's just creating to some consistency throughout the album. Cause there's stuff that, you know, kind of matches through the, the album. And as you can tell, like this time around, I did mostly pink and I did add, uh, on some of the curves, there's other colors, like the very top one has, you know, little Christmas trees. So of course you have, they're not really green. They're more like aqua and teal. So it, it still, it brings in the page on the other side so that the two pages that are facing each other, they're sort of matching and, you know, being the, so that they go together kind of thing. And the same with the bottom card. I, I put one of the cards from October afternoon and it has a pink and aqua tree. And then I put a little branding strip of, or a, a little strip down the side and it's the same pattern paper that is at the top. So, um, I used a bunch, a bunch of stickers, some brads that I was going to say that came in the kit, but that I, the kit that I kind of put together, I used some tabs. I used my mini stapler from Tim Holtz and just stapled in a bunch of places on the layout and that's pretty much it. And then I added some um, enamel dots that came from my stash. Um, I didn't put pull any enamel, enamel dots from um, and put it with that container because I figured I could just pull from my bucket of enamel dots and just kind of pull whatever I needed. And, you know, it just feels good to be able to use a lot of the stuff even from my stash and that car that I'm working on now that a uh, snowflake reddish pink paper that was a leftover from a previous page and I had just kind of thrown it in my bucket and when I kind of pulled all the pink stuff all together um, I had found that that um, 
piece of pattern paper and I thought, ooh, that's going to look really cute with that with that pink paper. So I just put it with that and then ended up using it on this layout. So I hadn't used Brad's, the last layout, and I did the one before. So I'm trying, I had like four or five packages of Brad's that I wanted to sort of get used up. So I'm trying to use them every second layout. You know, we all went through that phase of when Brad's were really big, you know, I had all these, I, I have all these Brad's and um, once enamel dots became big, the Brad's, I kind of stopped using them, but uh, it's, it's nice to be able to use some of the Brad's again. And here are some mini market stickers in snow cone. That alpha has been used, I used it so much. I have three sheets of it and even with three sheets, it's really hard to write anything with it. So it's been a well used and well loved alpha. It's probably one of my favorites. And there was a border uh, strip that I kind of divided between a few little cards and it really tied um, all the cards together. And it's the one with the scallop. And I ended up pulling it into, you know, a few different cards. And I really like that. So again, where I had done, you know, quite a few pages before that in pink, I had sort of a little, in my iris container, the one that's sort of a little tray. I, I have it now so that I have sort of a little section that is pink, a little section that is teal, a little section that is in whatever's left over. I just kind of put it there. And then the next time I do a page in that color, I just grab the leftover of the stickers and bring them in. And then obviously go through the stickers again and take some more out. Because the first time I go through, I don't pull everything that's pink. I just pull enough out to um, make sure that I have enough to do that layout. Because I don't, I don't want to take them all out and then, you know, then it's harder to, to go through them when they're in your tray. So I've slowed down the video so I can bring up each card and... So you have a chance to get a better look at them. And that's it. This is going to wrap up day 14. So if you enjoyed this video, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up and letting YouTube know. So thanks for watching. Bye.